Welcome back to the program this morning, Pastor William here, and uh, you're listening to Moments of Inspiration. What an awesome day we have today to have a, a privilege of having Pastor Bright Osagiede with us at the studio this morning. Once again, welcome Pastor Bright to the program. Hallelujah. Welcome Pastor Bright again. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Amen. Pastor Bright, tell us a little bit more how you came to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, Thank you for that question. I consider myself to be a very privileged and a very blessed person. Because I came to know the Lord at a very early age. I was nine years old when I decided to dedicate my life to God. And to be honest with you, I have no regrets. I, I watched a movie, and the movie was titled Burning Hell. And it was such a movie that it showed what the afterlife is going to look like. It showed what heaven is going to look like, mm. and it showed what hell is going to look like. Mm. And I made up my mind, I don't want to go to hell, I mm -hmm. want to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. But having dedicated my life to God, having followed God all these years, for over 24 years, I've actually found out that my salvation and my focus has not changed to from just being escaping heaven, escaping hell yeah. fire, yeah. and wanting to go to heaven, my focus has not changed Change, yeah. to wanting to actually enjoy a relationship with Jesus. Mm. You know, that's what we call eternal life. Yeah, enjoying heaven mm. here on earth. Yeah, amazing. Okay. Pastor Brad, did you find out that evil before you came to know the Lord? Did you find out that the pressures you were passing through in those days are still the same today? Or how do you see the young people of today? Yes, the, the young people of today is... Um, Actually, sometimes it's very sad when you see the kind of life that mm. some of them do lead. My simple advice is this. The pressures of this life will always be there. Mm. You see, it's not what happens to you. It's how you handle it. It's how you respond to it. Mm. Now, that's one thing that we are privileged to have in the Christian faith. Because not only does the Bible teach us how to respond to the issues of this life, yes. we also have the Comforter, mm. the Holy Ghost living yes. in us, mm. and He guides us through the pressures of this life. Amazing. So at the end of the day, mm. even though they are pleasure, uh, they are pressures, you just find yourself glowing, mm. even though there is pressure. Pressures, that's amazing. Amen, amen. Uh, Pastor Brad, the, the question many people ask me when I. You know, talk to them. They ask, you know, uh, you talk about Jesus. Can Jesus really save somebody from sin? Oh, what a question. <laughs> Jesus is the same mm. yesterday, today, and forever. Mm. Jesus can save from sin. He can heal you. He can deliver you. And he can give you a brand new life altogether. Mm. That's Jesus. Mm. Like I said before, he's the same yesterday, mm. today, and forever. If he did it for me, he can do it for you. Mm. Amazing. Thank you. 